Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you all for coming today to honor, remember, and celebrate the life of my grandpa, um, Exan Tanu Ajaya. For those of you who don't know, my name is Glory, and my mother, Makaw, was Opa Exan's niece. And for as long as I can remember, um, Opa Exan filled in the shoes of being my sister and I's grandfather which was a family figure that we never had since both of our grandfathers passed away before we were born. And I know that my grandpa was also a grandpa to many others sitting in this room, and even a second father um, to many others here as well. He was a true testament to the fact that family is not only defined by the blood that flows through your veins, but by the love of your heart and the actions of your soul. And because of that, I would like to thank every single person, whether you are family or not, um, for every single car to the hospital or the grocery store, um, for every single dish you cooked, for every single laugh you shared, for your compassion and for every single comfort you gave, and for all the time and memories you shared with my grandfather. May God bless you all. Um, you were all like guardian angels to him, and I'm sure he'll continue to watch over all of you from above. My grandpa wasn't one to show that he was in pain, but when the cancer hit him, it was evident over time that the pain was almost unbearable. Despite the pain, he still took any chance he could to crack jokes while all he could do was lay in his bed. Even the nurses who looked after him during his stay at the hospital said he was such a caring man. He would always ask the nurses if they had gone on break yet when they came around to check on him. And of course, he would always ask them if they had anything to eat yet. And if you guys know my grandpa, that was probably one of his favorite questions to ask. Even during his last couple of weeks of pain, grandpa chatted and kindled a friendship with the gentleman who stayed in the bed across from him. Grandpa never let the, de the cancer defeat his love and kindness. I always knew my grandpa was loved, but I definitely underestimated the amount of lives he had touched. Over these last couple of months, I was able to meet, learn, and hear of the many ways his love touched just some of the several individuals and families he knew. Over the years, my grandpa taught me a lot of things. He taught me to greet a waitress with the same respect as he would to the owner of the restaurant. He taught me to try new things, new foods especially. Um, he taught me about medicine as much as he could when he found out I aspired to become a pharmacist. And he taught me to never give up. I remember having to build this big electrical um, pinball machine for my final grade 12 physics project and I was so frustrated because the teacher expected there to be like lights, sounds and everything and I didn't even know how to start and I think I was so desperate that I even asked Uncle Ivan for help but I don't think that went anywhere and um, one day he heard me complaining in the background um, while he was talking with my mom and of course he told my mom to quickly pass the phone to me and First, of course, he told me, uh, he gave me a whole lecture about complaining, and he's like, oh, you shouldn't complain. But um, after that, he was like, you know, it's important to face the task that you're given, to tackle things one by one and never give up. And part of that project was to keep a log of everything you were doing. So you had to take photos and write about the challenges um, you had to face while you were bring, like, building the pinball. And on my last reflection, um, I wrote that the project um, reminded me to face the task given and never give up. I wrote those exact words that Grandpa told me over the phone. And to my surprise, when I got the project back, I actually did really well. In fact, I got um, a perfect. And I realized my teacher underlined that phrase that Grandpa told me on the phone and gave it a big check mark. And I think that lesson is going to be something that sticks with me all the time. And I think to many of you here as well, um, to never give up. Um, on life, to never give up on others, and to never give up on pursuing your dreams. And in fact, his last words to me when he was still strong enough to speak um, were, never give up, Nanette. Um, he always teased and called me Nenet. And for those of you who don't know, um, Nenet means granny in Indonesian, because apparently when I was little, I used to repeat things a lot. Um, and lastly, as I stare into this room of people, um, I'm reminded that it is possible for normal human beings and I, um, like you and I, sorry, um, to touch a great amount of lives like Grandpa did with his soul. And Uncle Jay and Uncle Ivan, as much as I know that it pains us to know that he is gone, um, we should rejoice in the fact that he is the one that is no longer in pain. 
I know you're resting very well in a much better place now, Grandpa. I love and will remember you always. Thank you.